Shh, we have a wabbit on set. Welcome back, everyone. The time is 6.14. Jeff is here from Zoo Montana. And like I said, we have a rabbit with you. We do. We're not hunting hunting wabbits. Yes, we are not. Definitely. So this is a giant Flemish rabbit. Been a while since we talked about it. And he's kind of hidden at the zoo. She, I should say. Her name's Agnes. She's kind of hidden at the zoo. So I thought I'd bring her in and talk about her a little bit because... She's beautiful. Look at her. She yeah. is. So giant Flemish rabbits, they were actually first bred in the early 1500s, brought over to England. They were actually originally bred for meat and for fur Aww. because they're so big, there's a lot of meat on them. However, their bone density is not real good, so that meat production's kind of stopped, and they're pretty much show rabbits now is really all they are. And Agnes is very much a safe animal. She's a very safe animal, exactly. <laughs> Kids love her, as you can imagine. She's also very happy. I guess you could call her a hoptimist. Oh. <laughs> I like that. I was, I was at one. Oh. I got to throw in there. I'm a little lightheaded all of a sudden. <laughs> right, you're starting to yeah. get, yeah, exactly. But a couple of cool things about rabbits in particular. First of all, of course, those ears. You see how big those ears are there. Obviously, those ears, of course, to hear. A lot of predators like to eat these guys. But mm -hmm. in many parts of the world, especially in the hotter areas, those ears are really good to help regulate heat. It can actually dispel heat mm -hmm. and actually keep them cool on those hot summer days. Then they've got these big eyeballs. Those eyes, they have almost a 360. 60 degree range of vision Ooh, uh, because okay. so many things like to eat them they always have to keep their eyes open they have one blind spot just on the very top of their nose there uh, but just spectacular animals that uh, unfortunately we just don't think much about we see them out in the wild but we don't give them much time but they are mm -hmm. pretty cool yeah you know, rabbits uh, not this size but certainly we see a lot around town is that just from people having domesticated rabbits yeah. that get loose and then yeah I'm glad you said that because yeah in Billings we do we have a real problem with with these these domestic domestic now feral rabbits in our town and yeah you'll drive around all different parts of the, the city and over uh, by the zoo on the west end we have some certainly downtown there's, there's quite a bit and then over by the Rimrock Mall area there's quite a few and that's exactly what they are they're domestic grade rabbits and we all know that uh, saying breeding like a rabbit these guys can breed at six months of age wow. they, their gestation is only about 30 days and then about six weeks later they can start breeding again so they have a lot of babies and they they're survivors um, and it's hard to believe that those domestic rabbits the black ones and the and the you know the the, the called multicolored ones can survive here, but they do. And uh, now they're we're kind of overrun and they're really difficult to take care of. Uh, predators like it. I mean, there's a lot of fox and a lot of uh, birds birds of prey that eat them. Uh, but but it is a problem in our city. There's no doubt about that. Have you ever won in a stare off with Agnes? I have not. No, <laughs> she is. Uh, does she's she too blink? intimidating. <laughs> she does, but she's really excited today. I mean, look at okay. her. Oh, hey, while well, we got that shot underneath. Now, listen, I don't want to embarrass her, but look at that big Aww. double chin she's got there. Yeah. There's actually a reason for that. It's called a dewlap, and female rabbits will use that dewlap to pluck fur from, and they use it to line their nest before they have their young. So oh. even though she's big, that double chin, it's not the double chin it that, you know, I might have after <laughs> winter, winter uh, foods, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, and by the way, uh, rabbits, they do re-eat their feces. I know that's gross, yeah. but they, they have to. That's how they digest. Oh. There's your ending. Interesting. <laughs> Good ending. Good cliffhanger, because you're going to stick around. I we'll will. have you again later in the show.